Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian Fuel. So guys, let's talk about the confraternity clash between Black Ass and Supreme Vikings confraternity in the city of Obosi, right there in Anambra State. Because two people were brought down within the week, of which this young man that you are seeing on your screen is one of the young men that were brought down. I got this update the day it happened, which was on the 25th of February, 2023. It happens to be on election day. I posted a quick update on my WhatsApp status and I didn't want to make a YouTube video about it because of the current situation that we are in in Nigeria concerning the Nigerian presidential election. And this took my attention, including the attention of a lot of Nigerians. And because of this, a lot of confraternity members in different cities have relaxed because everyone is focused on the future of this country. So it was very surprising to me that the confraternity members in Anambra state still continue the confraternity war and the only reason i am making this video is because a lot of nv family requested that i make a video about this so in this video i am going to tell you guys about the young men that we have brought down who they are and the confraternity that brought them down so without wasting any of your time let's dive into the video so on Saturday, the 25th of February, 2023, which was the day for the Nigerian presidential election, the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down in the town of Obosi. Now this young man is said to be by the name of Chijoke or CJ as most people call him in the streets. The young man is said to be a popular member of Black Eyes and he was brought down by some young men who are said to be Vikings members. According to what happened, on that very election day, this young man was walking on the street going to meet some of his members when he was seen by some Vikings members. And the Vikings members that saw him immediately pulled a hit on him. It seems like the Vikings members that saw him had no gun with them because this young man seemed to have been stabbed multiple times. I posted the video on my WhatsApp status yesterday night and I also posted it on my Telegram this morning for the people that haven't seen it. The video after he was brought down is currently on my telegram and I will post the link to the telegram on my comment section. It will be the first comment you are going to see so you can click the link to go straight to telegram to take a look at the video after this young man was brought down. So the young man was stabbed multiple times and a lot of people are saying that his phone was also collected from him because most of the time when confraternity members pull a hit on people they really don't take anything but people are saying that this young man's phone was taken from him so after this incident happened the very next day which was the 26th of february 2023 happens to be on sunday a day after the nigerian presidential election black ass members bring down a young man who is said to be a vikings member inside his car so the vikings member that was brought down is said to have been brought down in Umpo. but the young man is originally from Obosi. he was inside his car when the young men that are said to be black ass members surrounded his car and fired at him boom 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 before you knew what was happening the young man already went down and the video was also posted on my whatsapp status yesterday and it is also posted on my telegram this morning so you can go take a look and see for yourself but one of the things that i noticed about this young man that we brought down in anabra state within the week is that they are not just young men these people have family they are matured people these people should be in their late 40s to early 50s these people are not children and it is surprising that a lot of children are going to be fatherless in this generation just because their parents or their father practiced confraternity we are looking forward to a better nigeria and this is not part of what we want we always complain about bad leaders but the youth themselves are not ready to have a good country anyway guys i just quickly want to put this out there because of popular demands because a lot of people have told me to make a video about it because it is not everyone that is on youtube that is also members of envy family so if you live in anambra state and you are a member of black ass or a member of vikings 
don't just go and be walking anyhow up and down thinking that your rivals won't bring you down because of election these people really don't care anyway you are watching nigerian view